Good morning, Blazers. I'm Rocky, and I'm Tetro. Welcome to Northern Christian News. I have so much candy from trick or treating. What about you? I'm too old for trick or treating. Anyways, speaking of candy, some of our viewers sent us some videos of them pranking their kids by telling them that they ate all of their candy. Let's check out their reactions. Okay, Grant, can you sit down for me? We gotta have a serious talk. You see, the thing is, I ate all your Halloween candy. <coughs> Mr. Brightenstein, um, could you please sit down for me? We need to have a serious talk. Why? So, Why? Well, I kind of ate all your Halloween candy. <coughs> So Seth, I have some bad news to tell you. Do you know what I did? No. I ate all of your Halloween candy. It's a little crisp outside, wouldn't you say, Rocky? You're right. I wonder what the weather's gonna be like for this weekend. Justin, would you please help us out? You'd be right, Tetro. Starting today, we'll have a crisp 54 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, we'll have a warmer 62 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. And Sunday, will be a warm 69 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Justin. Next, we have some updates from the elementary students. I'm going to pee right now, but after we did, we just switched out weather, so not like to not like to A to B, we just go switch to switch. We're learning how to add. We are learning about turtles. I made this turtle in class. We've been learning about missionaries in lots of different ways, and I've also memorized the Old Testament books of the Bible. Um, we've been learning about poetry, two types, couplet, couplets, and IQ. We are right now doing Literature Circle. Our teacher picked out some books for us and a range of books and we got to pick out the books we wanted. So I, I chose The Year of the Boar and Jackie Robinson. Um, I chose The Magician's Nephew and it's pretty interesting right now. It's the first, it's the first book um, of the Chronicles of Narnia. I chose The Sign of the Beaver, which is really interesting. I chose Mr. Popper's Penguins, which has a lot of drama. We are learning about protractors and angles in math and how to measure angles and all the acute and obtuse and right and straight angles. Congratulations to our volleyball team for taking first in state for the second year in a row. They were 5-1 in one in pool play and won the championship game 2-0. to zero. Rebecca Rothaker, Rachel Sturdivant, Virginia, and Is Elizabeth Cruzy are playing in the Missouri-Kansas All-Start Game, and Coach Tanner was selected as the Missouri coach. Today on Trailblazer Tricks and Talents, Noah McCubbin and Kyle Lee will be showing off their skills. Wow, do you guys even play basketball? Because those are some baller moves. And now for local and national news. Sporting KC finished their season with a 1-0 loss against the Houston Dynamo in the first round of the Major League Soccer playoffs. Tuesday, another terrorist attack happened in New York. A, ma a man driving a rented truck mowed down the bike path, killing eight people and injuring about a dozen. So please keep them in your prayers. Last Sunday morning, some members of the Concord Fortress of Hope Church in South Kansas City were alarmed to find their building vandalized by racists. However, the spray-painted windows and the small fire didn't stop the church members from carrying on their worship service later that morning. President Donald Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was charged on Monday morning in the Russia investigation surrounding the 2016 presidential election. And now, get ready for The Journey Part 3.
How can we change clothes? It's me, your dad. It's me. Son, son. That's all we have for you today, Blazers. Thanks for watching Northland Christian News. News. Remember, it's a great day to be a Blazer.